Father, thank you very much. Um, the PA State Department for Diaspora Affairs, uh, Rosalind Jogu. The PA State Department for Tibet, Dr. Esther Moria. Ambassador Isaiah Kabira, Secretary Investment and Entrepreneurship. County Commissioner Jack Obuo and the entire GAO team. The Honorable Norman Nyaga, the chairman of Jeremy Nyaga National Polytechnic. Honorable Moredi Kiora, MCA Betty South. Principals of the National Polytechnics and Tibet present. CECs and chief officers here present. Mr. Frederick Nyaga of the State House. Heads and directors of state departments and agencies. The officers from the Embu County government, students, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to welcome all our visitors who are here for the first time, uh, led by our sister P.S. Roslyn, and tell them Karibu Embu County, the land of opportunity. I'm indeed very pleased to see so many young people present here this afternoon for the Mount Kenya East Diaspora Jobs Fair. We are happy as a county to be the hosting county for this important jobs fair. As part of the government's effort to help young people achieve their goals in securing internships and future jobs, we are happy to partner with the State Department for Tibet and State Department for Diaspora Affairs to host this job fair. This fair has provided a unique opportunity to form partnerships between potential employers and employees. Entering work life after completing studies is a two-way process. As students or skilled persons, you need to make yourselves attractive to employers. Number two, organizations have to make an equal effort to attract the best students. Students today ask their potential employers, what can you offer? Can I fulfill my potential within your company? Or can I live up to my dream? You therefore made an important choice by the choice of attending this job fair. Together with graduates from colleges and universities all around the country, you represent the real value, the most precious resource in Kenya today. In the public debate, we sometimes ask, how can we secure future wealth and welfare of our nation? And we forget to answer, to forget that the answer is actually in the young people. And that's why this particular job fair is very, very important. The success factor for Kenya, many years ahead, is the young and educated or skilled people that are prepared to take positions that form building bricks for a sustainable future. As a, a, a prosperous future for Kenya is based on innovation and research in skilled areas, especially those offered by the vocational, uh, technical and vocational education and training, Tibet institutions. Businesses today have to be brave when looking for the right people. They must dare pursuing one of the most precious competitive advantages in our global world, which is highly skilled people with multicultural competence as part of their background. This job fair is a great starting point for work life. I strongly recommend young people to take this opportunity and visit as many stands as possible that have exhibited here. I must say I'm extremely happy uh, as we are coming in and we, we talked to the a team from diaspora, they said that we want to take this opportunity and visit as many stands as possible. 8,200 young people that had visited this job sphere. Indeed, that's a great, great performance. And I really want to appreciate those from Mempu County that have come in their numbers and say that this was a great opportunity for you to know how you can access diaspora jobs. And um, clearly one of the challenges that uh, we've seen is number one, there was lack of information. We are happy now that you are equipped with the necessary information to know how you can access that job. 
we are happy as we spoke to the to the to the um, uh, recruiting agencies that they have already identified some of you for interviews and therefore you're going to be called for interviews in in the near future the challenge one being the fact that many of you may not be able to afford the amount of money being asked for whether it is for passport whether it is for a short course especially if you want to go to whether it is for passport uh, with the, whether with it is for PSAs, a short course especially state if you want and we have agreed that as a county we are going to work very closely with the tibets especially jeremy Anyaga national polytechnic that has already gotten a german teacher to see how we can sponsor some of the students go and learn the language so that they can be able to get the jobs that are in that country we are also going to look at uh, th those that need uh, some uh, licensing or certification for maritime courses, uh, maritime jobs, uh, the cruise ship jobs that are available, and there are very many, but you must get some certification for it uh, by the Kenya Maritime Authority or other accredited institutions. We're also going to work closely with them and ensure that you get the certification that you require, and we shall support that. So in the next financial budget that is going to be passed at the end of this month, we will put aside some money for that purpose. Uh, the other thing that we are going to do is to work very, very closely with the State Department for Diaspora, State Department for Immigration, to ensure that those young people who need their passports quickly, urgently, can be able to access them so that they can be able to travel abroad. And uh, I'm happy we have a passports office right here in Embu County. So if you have a problem getting a passport, depending on where you come from, as long as you're within the region, this is the nearest office you can visit for a passport. We'll work at that and make sure you get your passports in good time. And I want to appreciate you, PS, for taking up that role of pushing that we get these immigration documents in good time for our young people to get these jobs. I've seen many people asking, where are we doing these jobs fairs? Why do we need to take our young people abroad? Let me say this. If this one of the issues, and I think the PS for Tibet has mentioned that in an interview earlier with the media, if there's one thing the president has been very, very keen on whenever he travels abroad, is to make sure he tries and negotiate for jobs in those countries. And the reason why that is the case is because Africa, and Kenya specifically, the large has a very young population. In other words, if you look at the number of young people below 30, and those above 60, that is retirement age, you'll find that we have a very young population. A lot of our, young, of our population is young people who are in their age of production. Now, if you compare that with those in Europe, a lot of the population is the old generation. So it means, therefore, they require young persons who can do these jobs. We are lucky as a nation. We are an English-speaking country, so we can be able to fit in many of those markets. We are also lucky we have a very strong work ethic. We are known to work very, very hard. And I know our people in Nebu County, county are hardworking. So I know the young people in Nebu County know how to work hard. It is in your DNA. So when you get these jobs, I'm sure you'll not just go there and uh, not work hard, but you'll go and even grow in that job that you're doing. Probably get an even better job as you stay on. I'm happy young people are beginning to open their to countries outside, to opportunities outside of our country. And therefore, I know this is a good opportunity for all of you. And because the level of unemployment in the country is very, very high, it's quite high, we must think outside the box. It's not a must that you must work in Kenya. 
if you can work outside the country and make your money, support your families here, be able to grow here, what is the problem? I'm very happy um, the PS uh, diaspora has told me that last year alone, the amount of money that was remitted by Kenyans in the diaspora to Kenya was more than what we get from tea or coffee or any other cash crop. So it means that it is the highest foreign exchange earner for this country. So twende uko inje tutafute tupate kazi tujinue na tuinue wale tumeacha nyuma. So my business as the governor of Embu County, my business, uh, the business of Embu County government is to make sure we make it possible for those young people who have visited these towns and qualify and meet those minimum qualifications are properly supported so that they can be able to get these jobs. So I want to assure you, the young people of Embu County, that it is our business to support you, to, to give you the necessary uh, equipment to help you get where you want to go. And please, don't live here and let it, uh, you know, and say what, uh, whatever happens, happens. Follow up with the agencies that you have talked to. Email them, call them. So that, and if there's anything you need to do, whether it is accreditation, please feel free to be in touch with our department for youth. Uh, we have uh, the chief officer for youth empowerment. Uh, she's called Jerry, Lucetta Jerry. She will be able to support, and we are going to work very, very closely with all these recruitment agencies. We have their contacts to make sure we make it happen for you. Otherwise, I want to say we are very, very grateful. And let me take this opportunity, and I know uh, P.S. Moria will talk about it. She talks about it every day. She never tires to say so. The future is in technical skills. The future is in technical skills. I repeat again, the future is in technical skills. When you have a skill in your hands, you are way, way better than that one who doesn't have. So let me take this opportunity also to request Wazazi Water Waembu County. We are very, very lucky to Kona National Polytechnic Kappa Embu, Jeremia Nyaga, to Kona Runyenges, TTI or Tivet, to Kona Manyata, to Kona Bere North. Five national, five of five technical training institutes and below there are the vocational training centers that are under county government. It is a good skill that can take you very, very far. Tupeleke watoto wetu kwa hii mashule, wasome, waweze kujisimamia badai. Whether locally, ata wale investors tunaleta, we need skills. Right now, tunamaliza kujenga the first 100 units, the housing, hapa majengo. All the work that has been done there has been done by our own local people who have technical skills. All the doors, the windows, have been done by our own juakali sector. That's what we call them. But for the first time, they got a contract worth 11 million to do those, those, those doors and those windows. So let's take technical training seriously. We are going to do more houses. We have a county aggregation and industrial park that we are building in Bere South Mashanga, worth half a billion. Again, we'll need technical hands to help us finish that project, even to employ thereafter. So, usitifanye, usi Sisikie kama you're a small person or what you have is not an important skill. Your skill is very, very important and be encouraged by it. And I promise you, we will support as much as we can to make this happen. P.S., I want to appreciate you so very much for accepting to come here today to Embu County, the land of opportunity. And we encourage you to come again. And uh, although we've just had three days, Expect me at your doorstep with my team to enhance this partnership to the next level.
Asante sana. May I take this opportunity to welcome uh, PS Dr. Esther Moria, the PS for Tibet's 